The Real Quantum Mania Quantum computing is technology's next giant leap in evolution, and Singapore is stepping up its investments in this emerging field. It even plans to have a foundry to develop the materials and components needed to build quantum computers. Singapore will also join a handful of nations, such as the United States, China, France, Finland, Germany, South Korea and Japan, in building its own quantum computers. So what is quantum computing? A regular computer stores information as a bit, which is in a state of either a 1 or a 0, on or off. A quantum state can be much more complex. Quantum computers use quantum bits, or qubits, which can also exist in a superposition of both 1 and 0 simultaneously, allowing the encoding of more information. As the number of qubits grows, a quantum computer becomes exponentially more powerful. To do this, quantum computers are very different to your typical PC. Quantum computers are beyond cool, literally. In fact, they operate at a temperature close to absolute zero, that's minus 273.15 degrees centigrade. Within this supercool state, colder than outer space, quantum objects of either an electron or a particle of light are manipulated to execute complex mathematical calculations, far beyond what a traditional computer is capable of. Quantum computing dates back to the 1970s, when US physicist Paul Anthony Benioff demonstrated the theoretical possibilities of such a calculation machine. By harnessing quantum physics, there is the potential to process vast amounts of possibilities, pinpointing probable solutions within hours, when a traditional computer would take years, even thousands of years, to perform a similar task. In 2017, a prototype in Japan could perform 100 times faster than an existing supercomputer. In 2019, Google's 53-qubit quantum computer could perform in 200 seconds, a computation that would take the world's fastest supercomputers about 10,000 years. And in 2020, a team at the University of Science and Technology of China assembled a quantum computer that could perform a calculation in 200 seconds, a calculation it is estimated that an ordinary supercomputer would have taken 2.5 billion years to complete. So saving eons on computing time may sound grand, but how does that translate into real-world applications? Well, powerful quantum computers will be able to accurately simulate complex molecules such as enzymes, proteins and DNA, which will lead to new drugs. Not only could these eradicate long-standing diseases such as malaria, tuberculosis and HIV, consider how quickly a new vaccine could be made to fight any future pandemics. Quantum computing can also speed up the discovery of new materials that can help build better batteries. More efficient, safer and greener batteries needed for electric and autonomous vehicles. Better batteries will also help mega battery grids to ensure a smooth supply of renewable energy and help the environment. Also of interest to the energy sector is a more efficient way to plan global logistics, such as the transporting of oil and gas. A huge challenge for artificial intelligence is in automating the detection and removal of disinformation and toxic social media posts, videos and images. AI models need to understand the context and nuances of human language. Quantum computing, which works in similar ways to the human brain's neural network, is best suited for this task. However, don't expect quantum computer power to be available on your smartphone. Traditional computing methods are still needed to run most smartphone and computer applications. Quantum computers are only good with specific tasks, such as modeling and designing complex materials. The big question is, when will quantum deliver? Well, the world's fastest quantum computer is based on a 127 qubit processor. Its maker, IBM, plans to release a 1,121 qubit quantum processor next year. If that happens, it will be an inflection point as businesses will find it cheaper to execute real-world tasks on quantum computers. And as happened with traditional computers, quantum computers that now cost upwards of $100 million to set up will become more powerful and crucially cheaper, solving even more of the world's issues.